Hello, this is Pat with Fans Workshop. This is a follow-up tutorial from the last one where we created a flag in a VCarve. This one will show you how to add a VCarve picture or SVG onto the flag. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by Metric, I'm just trying to help some others out. Alright, so we have our flag that we made from the previous tutorial. Um, we're going to grab the picture or SVG whatever you have that you're trying to add on top of the flag. Um, I've got an eagle I pulled from Wikipedia Commons, uh, so we're just going to use it to start with. Um, when you first drag your picture in, if you unclick it, and then you go to re-click it, it's not grouped. So you just go ahead and select the whole thing, and then go to Edit Objects, and go ahead and group it. This is just going to make it easier for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Control c Control v to copy and paste, because I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it once in the stripes, and then I'll do it again in the stars just to show you. Alright, so I'm going to take this first one, and then transform objects. We're going to move it. We're just going to pull it over into the center of the stripes. And we're going to resize it a little bit while we're at it. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Alright, so there we go. We've got it covered everything. Alright, go ahead and close that when you're done. Um, so, okay, what we're going to do next is, you see how the stripes are intersecting everything with the eagle? Uh, it's not going to work. Say, like right now, I tried to V carve, and I've still got the eagle selected. Uh, we still got that 60 degree half inch bit. Uh, we'll name it the eagle, and go ahead and calculate. Alright, so we get the error. We've got some overlaps and intersections. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now. I'm going to assume in this video you've already got a picture that you've got set up how you just want to add it to the flag. Uh, so I'm going to hit continue anyway. Um, so right now, if I go ahead and preview all full paths, this is what we're going to get. Because we've got those stripes intersecting the eagle, it's just going to cut out pieces of it. Not at all. Anymore. So we're going to go back to 2D. Alright, so we've still got the full eagle selected. Uh, first thing we want to do is ungroup it. Uh, if you come over here to edit objects and ungroup, the reason being is we don't want to offset the entire thing. We just want to offset the outside edge of it. We're going to come back, click this outside edge, I'll first click off of it, and then click this outside edge. See, now we only have the outside edge selected of the eagle. Alright, from here, go to offset and layout. Offset, um, you're going to do outwards and right, you want the offset to be on the outside of it. Uh, distance, we're going to put it 0.1 inches, we don't want it too big, this really is up to you how much, you'll see here in a second what this does. Uh, go ahead and click offset, alright, so it builds another layer outside of that eagle. Alright, the reason for this is we want these stripes to stop before it hits the eagle. So we're going to close. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to subtract this area of the stripes from where it's in the eagle. So just come up here anywhere, uh, select your stripes, because we already have them grouped from the other tutorial. Uh, hold down your shift key, select that outside line you just created around the eagle. Alright, and then come over to edit objects, and the second one to subtract the second selected vector from first. Click it. And there you go. You get all the stripes. They delete the area between them and the eagle. Alright, we're not quite done yet though. We still have to go edit the stripes now. So right click on stripes, edit, because it doesn't know not to cut this still. So now you're going to hold down your shift key, drag and drop, and select all your stripes again. Alright, we've got some pieces here in the middle. We'll select it, but I've got that quarter inch bit selected for mine, so it's probably not going to cut it. They're probably not that big. After we're done, just go ahead and hit calculate. Alright, reset preview. Now we're going to preview all tool paths. There you go. It's as easy as that. Alright, we're going to redo the same thing over in the stars real quick. It's the exact same procedure. Just doing it in the star field with a lot more objects over there. So I'm going to select my eagle over here, transform objects, move selected objects, put it right over here in the 
middle. Uh, we're going to grab the corner, shrink it down just a little bit. Close that out. All right, next I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to select the outside of that union. And we're going to go to transform objects, align selected objects. And we're going to align to selection, the last thing that we selected. So it puts that eagle right in the middle of the star field. All right, we'll go ahead and close that. Now we've got to do the same thing we did over here. We've got to go to our offset and layout. We're going to leave it at that point one. So we're just going to go ahead and click offset. Uh, we get that same error, but when we already checked it, it was cutting that eagle fine, so we don't need to validate anything. We can just hit continue for now. All right, see so here I made a mistake. I still had the outside of the flag you need selected. So that's where it made. All right, we're going to edit. Undo the offset. Left click out here somewhere. All right, let's do it again with just selecting the eagle. That's how easy it is to fix a mistake. All right, so now we just got the eagle selected, outwards right. We don't want to offset it yet, actually, because we've got everything in that eagle selected. First, we want to get out of there, go to Edit Objects, and ungroup it. All right, now left click anywhere, click that outer edge again. Now we're ready to offset it. Now we're right, point one, offset. All right, so now we get our offset. All right, close that. Click the stars first, hold your shift key. Click that outside line you just created. Back to edit objects, the second one, subtract second selected vector from first. And it gets rid of all the stars that it was covering. Let's come down here to stars, right click, edit, go ahead and drag and drop around all of them again. Calculate. We're getting that same error it's because there's some overlaps within this eagle. I'm just going to hit continue. All right, we've got to reset our preview. Preview all full paths, and now we have it up in the star field also. All right, again, please, uh, if you like what you see, hit the like down there, subscribe. I'm going to do some more videos as long as people continue to want me to do them. Um, if there are certain things you'd like me to do, let me know, and I'll focus on that area. Um, other than that, thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.